why would any rider want to put on muscle? Like, wouldn't adding muscle and adding mass to someone's frame or a rider's frame make them heavier and then make the bike harder to ride and make the bike heavier and less powerful? Um, for those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Andrew Hammer. I uh, work with hundreds of riders and racers from around the world to get them race fit and race ready. Uh, so I was watching the Supercross on the weekend, uh, the first round at Anaheim. Uh, give the video a thumbs up if you were watching the Anaheim round. Um, and one of the commentators was talking about Chase Sexton specifically intentionally putting on muscle and putting on mass and getting stronger from where he was last season. Now, watching that, a lot of you are probably thinking, like, why the hell would he want to get bigger? Um, isn't that, like, one of the cardinal sins of, you know, building fitness for the bike is you want to be lighter and you want your power to weight ratio to be better. You don't want to be making that heavier and making that worse. So the problem that comes is as you get onto these bigger bikes is obviously they're a bit heavier and they've got a lot more power. So if we look at uh, a 450, for example, we're looking at over 100 kilos there in bike weight. And then on top of that, you've got the rider. So you, let's say for you, you might weigh about 80 kilos, right? So you've got a 100 kilo bike, 80 kilo rider, we add those two together, that's a total of 180 kilos that you need to be able to fight or that you need to be able to wrestle. Now, Chase and his team know that, okay? They know that there's no way of building strength to be able to muscle a bike around like a 450 without actually doing some weight work and getting a little bit bigger and getting stronger. And so the reason that he does that and the reason that all riders should be doing that is because the stronger you can get yourself, the lighter the bike's going to feel. And the lighter you can get the bike to feel, the less energy and less effort you're going to use. So ideally, you wouldn't gain any weight and you can keep your weight the same and get yourself a lot stronger. But even if you do need to put on a couple of kilos to be able to get stronger, the benefits of being stronger and how much lighter the bike is going to feel because of that strength is going to far outweigh the one or two kilos that you've added in body weight. So how do you get strong? What's the best movements? So the best way to get strong is we want to use what's called multi-joint movements. Okay, multi-joint movements are movements which use your whole body from head to toe in one specific strength movement. The reason we want to use these movements is because when you're riding on the bike, your whole body is working together from head to toe on the bike. And that's why riding and racing is so hard, whether it's supercross, whether it's enduro, whether it's motocross, it doesn't matter. Riding is hard because we're using every single muscle group. What we don't want to be doing is isolating muscle groups and doing bicep curls and doing leg extensions and doing uh, tricep work because isolating muscles isn't going to get you the best transfer to the bike because that's not how our body moves on the bike. It works together as a unit. So what are these exercises? Exercises that you can use are things like a barbell back squat, a barbell deadlift, barbell bent over rows, barbell overhead press, barbell bench press. So the reason we're using these movements is they use a large part of your body and multiple muscle groups to be able to move the weight. And the reason we're using a barbell is because we can load up the barbell with a reasonable amount of weight to get you as strong as we can in the shortest period of time so you can hurry up and see results out on the bike. Um, if you'd like to, an, an example of some other workouts that I recommend for our riders, um, I'll put the link for my free motocross rowing workouts that you can test out with your next training session. I'll put the link below. Um, and likewise, if you'd like to work together, I'll put the application link below as well.